Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Now this is not an ordinary project video, but it's related to it. I receive many comments in almost all my videos that which software I use to design circuit diagrams that I represent in all my videos. So in this video, I'll show you which software I use, how to download it and how to use it. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. JLC PCB is one of the lead manufacturers of PCBs at very low prices. So just add your Gilbert files over here and select the quantity, select the color and place your orders. So this PCB looks very professional, neat and clean for your projects. So you can order your PCBs from JLC PCB. So basically I'm using Fritzing software to make my circuit diagrams which I show you in the video. So to download this software, first search for Fritzing in your browser. Over here you will find this link fritzing.org which is the official site of Fritzing. And this go to download section. And here you will find the download link for this software. As I remember few years ago this software was a free software but now this is a paid software and it's for a minimal price of 8 euros that you can easily pay it if you use it for a long time. So download this software and install it in your computer. After this we'll open this printing software. Now just for your information this is not a simulation software it's a just a designing software where you can design circuits, schematics, PCBs and even upload code to your Arduino board. So in this video we'll just look for the breadboard section where we'll be designing our circuits. So here we are in. So this is a breadboard which comes by default and you can even change the size of this breadboards. So this is a full plus size breadboard. Uh, in the bottom right section you can find a drop down where you can change the size of this breadboard. So now I will be selecting uh, half plus. So now on the top right section you will find some components which are the basic components required for the uh, circuit design. As you can see some buttons, LEDs, buzzers, speakers, motors and much more components over there. So these are the basic components which are required and these components comes installed in this Fritzing software. So you don't need to download additionally. So you just have to drag and drop all the components which are required on your drawing board. Now if you want to get some more components like Arduino board, microcontrollers or even different type of motors, LEDs then you can directly search for that components in the search section as I am doing for the Arduino board. So now here I have searched for the Arduino board and here all the boards which are related to Arduino are listed over here. So we will find uh, uh, Arduino Nano first. So here I have got the Arduino Nano board. So now we will search for the Arduino Uno as well. So here is the Arduino Uno board. So similarly if you want to get ESP8266 board. So this board is not pre-installed in the Fritzing software. So you need to download this board from the Google. So to download this kind of boards, you just have to enter the part name and with the extension FZPZ on the browser. So as you can see, I have written ESP8266 space FZPZ, which is the extension of the part in the Fritzing. So by searching this you will find some links from the github or from the Fritzing websites and you can even download all this and import it in your Fritzing software. So now as you can see I have downloaded a ESP8266 board from github by this author. So you can find different versions of the boards or the components by different authors and designers. So now we'll import this. So click on this drop down, select the import button and browse on your downloads folder and click on this part and click on open. So this will import this ESP8266 board on your drawing board. So just simply drag from the right panel to your drawing board and here is our ESP8266 board ready for the circuit design. So now if you are making a home automation circuit diagram then you will also need some relay modules as well. But Fritzing don't have relay modules pre-installed in it so you need to download this from Google as well. So just go on your browser search for relay module FZPZ. You can even specifically type for 4 channel, 2 channel, 1 channel or 8 channel relay modules. And you will find different authors and different designers have uploaded their own modules. 
so simply click on any links from github or fritzing website so here i am going from fritzing website and here i am downloading this one let's see how this module looks so we'll go to import and we'll import this from downloads so here is the relay module which we downloaded but if you want some other designs as well then you can again go on the browser search for different design browse for it go to github site fritzing site and many authors have created this kind of components so you can go and download it and import it on your drawing board so now after finalizing your components you need to arrange it on your drawing board for a clear look so as i am making a home automation project i'll also need some push button for a manual control mode so i'll go and search for the buttons in the right panel so here you will find different kinds of buttons for different sizes different types such as smd components as well regular components so you can drag and drop it on your drawing board for the circuit connections so here i have dropped one smd components and now we'll go to pcb section and you can see the soldering pad of this smd components so as of now we are just designing the circuit on the breadboard section so we can ignore this part and you, we can just focus on designing the circuit so by right clicking on any component you will find different options here you can find a rotation option where you can rotate a component to 90 degrees 180 degrees counterclockwise and clockwise and you will also find one option to show and hide the value and the label of the component you can even change the name such as uh, set as a uh, switch 1 switch 2 for the components you can set the name of the component like ESP8266 relay module this is very important when you use a component with some specific values like resistors potentiometers so this will be very helpful for the person who is referring your circuit diagram so now the components which are required for our project are ready so now we'll start with the connection part so for the connection you need to click on one point of a component and drag it to other point of different component and this will create a wire between this for the connection so by pressing and holding shift button while adding one point between the wire for the angle this will create some 90 degree angles and which will look very good and neat and clean for your circuit design. So now we have connected a ground and VCC wire between a relay module and the ESP8266 board. So now they are of the same color and the person who is referring this diagram may get confused and do a short circuit connection in their project design so to differentiate this uh, connection we will change the color of this wire as in general pattern the ground is denoted with the black wire and the positive that is VCC is denoted with the red color so we will right click on it and we will change the color you can even add a baited pattern on the wire color so simply go to the bottom right section and here you will find a checkbox for the baited pattern just tick over it and you can see the baited pattern connection between your two components so for now i'm keeping a solid color i am not going for the baded color if you have multiple connections then you can opt for this baded and it will differentiate the connections very clearly so now i will connect other input relay pins with the digital pins of node mcu and after this i'll connect the ground pin for the buttons that will be a common ground and we'll also connect a digital pin to the buttons now i will also connect a led and a resistor to our circuit diagram so we'll search for the led so here we'll pick one led for us so this one is the smd you can see so we'll pick a normal one so from here we can change the color of the led i am changing it to green so this is a light green i will change it to a bit darker one so now that looks good so we'll also need a resistor for this so i'll search for the resistor so here i found the resistor now we'll connect this resistor to our led so to change the value of this resistor you can go to the bottom right side panel and here you can change the resistor so this resistor are differentiated with the color bands in the real life and here also it's the same so when I click on 10k resistor 
so you can see the change in the color bands so i am selecting 330 ohms resistor for our led so the banded leg of the led is the positive one and the straight one is the negative one so we'll connect our connection accordingly So now I'll right click on the resistor and display its value. So as you can see 330 ohms R1. So you can even right click on the label and select which values to be displayed for this resistor. Similarly I'll do it for the LED. So here our connection is complete and this is just a demonstration not a real circuit diagram. Here some of the connections are also pending for buttons and everything. So just for demonstration I have made this one and you can even explore the other tabs as well for the same circuit diagram you can find the PCB you can find the schematic for the same diagram which you made on the breadboard section So now to save these as a project you can go to file and click on save as and select the location where you want to save and give the file name of this project so this will save as an fritzing file it is just a project file you can edit it later whenever you want so you can click on save and if you want to get a image file from this a kind of svg file image file such as png or jpg file then you can go to file and click on export button and from here go to images and here you can find this png jpg svg this kind of uh, file formats to save your circuit diagram connections so for now i am selecting png which i usually use so i'll rename this file and click on save and now we'll open this png file and let's see how it looks so here is the image file and it looks very good you can even find one small watermark of the fritzing on the bottom right so this is okay and it looks very good neat and clean so yeah the video became a bit long for this fritzing software i have covered many more points in designing the circuit in fritzing software and if you want to know more on designing pcbs on easy eda or any other software then do let me know in the comment section below i will surely make a video on it so if you like this video then do hit that like button share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and i will see you in the next one do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video